Welcome back to Tennis Talk, my name's Cam Williams, and with the Australian Open only a week away, we've got some big names that have pulled out of the tournament. We have some big names that are also in doubt because of pulling out of tournaments this week. Well, let's start with the ATP and see who has actually pulled out of the Australian Open for 2022. All right, so the growing list here and some really, really big names. So we start with Guido Pella. He pulled out. Of course, Roger Federer has pulled out with that knee injury. Stan Wawrinka, he's still recovering from surgery he got last year. Raonic also pulled out. Team has pulled out. Sandgren. Nishikori and Brooksby has been the latest player to pull out. So some big names there, some Grand Slam champions and also former champions of the Australian Open. Let's go have a look at the women's side now and still massive names on this side as well, especially players that have played well in Australia in the past. Starting with Bianca Andreescu, she's pulled out. Last year's finalist, Jen Brady, she's pulled out. Last year's semi-finalist, Mukova has pulled out. The number four in the world, Pliskova, she's out. Serena Williams, biggest name on the women's side, she's out. Venus has also pulled out. And Podoroska is also pulled out on the women's side. Let's go have a look at the players that are in doubt because there's some big names that we haven't seen this year and some big names that have pulled out of tournaments this week. So we have two tournaments this week, the Sydney International and Nick Kyrgios. He got COVID this week and he's pulled out of both the tournaments leading into the Australian Open. Big, big question mark whether he plays next week. Also, Stefano Tsitsipas. I know he's training in Melbourne right now. We've seen him a little bit this year, but the elbow, it still seems to be a problem, and he has said it's day-to-day, -day, so got to keep an eye on Steph. There's some big names on the women's side as well. Leila Fernandez, she's pulled out with what seems to be a back injury that she might have got last week playing Igor Fiontech in Adelaide. Naomi Osaka also pulled out of her last week event in the semifinals at Melbourne tournament, so she's got a little bit of a question mark. Maria Sakri, another one who's pulled out of next week's event for unknown reasons, maybe just so she can focus on playing in Melbourne, but again, someone who's pulled out and didn't have the greatest week last week and Igish Fiontech, she's also pulled out of the Sydney event this week due to a rib injury that she might have got against Barty in Adelaide last week. So some players that we think are going to do really well at the Australian Open who either pulled out of their events last week or have some sort of little injury this week. You know, we've got some big names that are not playing, some Grand Slam champions, former champions, uh, some very promising players that potentially won't be playing. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win the Australian Open? We're going to go through the draw on Thursday. So we're going to find out, you know, where these players fall in the draw and, and see who's going to match up with who, especially the ones who are in doubt. Obviously, the ones that are withdrawn, they're not going to be playing. But let me know down in the comments below. Who does that leave to win the Australian Open? So some big names are pulled out of the Australian Open and some other names that are supposed to be playing are in doubt.